Greetings, and welcome to the Misadventures. Uh, I have I was reminded of a story from way back in the day because it's summer movie season, and uh, way back when I wanted to see Mission Impossible Two, mind you. There's five of them now. <laughs> so Is there are only five. Yes. Oh, there were six. No, there's there, there's the first one. There's Mission Impossible Two, which is John Woo, a Woo de Gras. Uh There's me. You ever see the poster? Just yeah. M I colon I I I. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <Yeah. laughs> it was Ghost Protocol, and now Rogue Nation. Like okay. with the Tom Cruise on the outside of an airplane, <laughs> which was an awesome stunt, by the way. Is the rest of the movie? Yeah. Okay. It's, uh, truly worth watching. Go see Rogue Nation. Oh wait, it's out on video. Go buy Rogue Nation. <laughs> Stream Rogue Nation. Not okay. illegally. Not illegally. <laughs> uh, no, from one of the streaming services. I believe it's actually on the the Netflix. Netflix. That bar Netflix. But anyways. Anywho, we went to see Mission Impossible 2, and uh, I was there with my good friend James. Uh, I will not say his last name, but I'm also not going to change his name because there are lots of people named James. <laughs> and uh, this is the story will change his name to mm, James. James. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So we went to see Mission Impossible 2, and it was good. Duh. And then, as we were walking out, we saw that Battlefield Earth was starting in like 10 minutes. We're like, well, we're not going to pay to see that dreck, because all I had read about the, the reviews is that it was awful, terrible, worst movie ever made, uh, everything like that. So I'm like, okay, so we theater hopped. I mean, just a second. Dear sweet monkey Christ. What By the way, doing? guys, the... The statute of limitations is far over. <laughs> it's, it was Mission Impossible 2. <laughs> yes, technically, movie hopping is stealing. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, we, we look over. It's starting in like 10 minutes. We're like, all right. So, we duck in. And we're sitting there. And we realize there's no one else in the theater. No one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Movie begins. Still no one. <laughs> Keep in mind, it, it had gotten terrible reviews. It had been out for about two weeks at this point, And it was the last showing of the day. So it is not outside the realm of possibilities that at a multiplex like this, where you had the chance to see Mission Impossible 2, that there would be no one at Battlefield Earth. So movie starts, still no one. We're like, alright. So we're watching a movie. A little while later, kid in a uniform wanders in, looks at us, looks at a piece of paper, looks at us, looks at a piece of paper, wanders off. <laughs> like, alright, the jig is about to be up. Movie continues playing. A little while later, a different kid wanders in. Uh, obviously looking like that kid's boss looks at us looks at a piece of paper looks at us looks at a piece of paper wanders off <laughs> but, all right at this point we believe that we are invisible <laughs> good deal so about two-thirds of the way through the movie dude in a suit wanders in followed by the previous two kids looks at us looks at a clipboard, looks at them who look at a piece of paper, look at him, he looks at us, looks at a clipboard, looks at them who look at a piece of paper, and they all wander off! <laughs> they're like, okay, now they're just wondering why they're showing this film to an empty theater. They can't see us. They could have come up and asked. <laughs> but obviously they're looking at an, at an empty theater because we are invisible, and they're wondering why they have to show it. But it was all on film still back then. Back in the olden days. And so they had to run the reels through anyway. So they're just showing this film to an empty theater. <laughs> and they continue watching through the end of the movie. And we're just like, how did that happen? I, I don't know. <laughs> well, mazel tov, go us. We then tested this theory a few weeks later. When we went to see... The Mummy. No, The Mummy Returns. Oh, God. The, the, yeah, with the horror, the worst CGI of The Rock ever. 
Oh, the Scorpion one? Yes. Ah! Yeah, yeah, where he played the Scorpion King, but not the movie The Scorpion King. Right. right. That's, that's mm-hmm. it. Yeah. Where, which was, you know, just a vehicle for Rock the Dwayne Johnson. <laughs> yeah. And so we go to see The Mummy with, uh, Mummy Returns, which I had gotten free passes to because I worked at Blockbuster at the time, and we got uh, DVDs of The Mummy Special Edition, which came with movie money to see The Mummy Returns. No one was ever going to use it, so I took it home. I asked my boss, like, can I have these? Like, yeah, they're just going to expire in the box. So we went to see The Mummy Returns for free, mind you. And we watched it, and we laughed at the CGI at the end, and as we were walking out, it was the opening night of Shrek. (laughs) And we're like, all right. So we walk this way, this way, and we circle back around and just walk into the theater. They asked the people behind us for their tickets. They asked the people in front of us for their tickets. Didn't ask us a damn thing. We are invisible when we are together. (laughs) <laughs> we watched in, sat down, we looked in front of us, and there was my neighbor. <laughs> who at the time is a a, uh, a member of the local constabulary. And he's like, hey guys, what's going on? I'm like, hey, Roger, what's going on? He's like, what you doing? Pro-rating my ticket? Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh so, so we sat there and we watched Shrek. They didn't. Uh, they. We are invisible. <laughs> or we just exude like we are not uh, small men by any means of the imagination. That's like, an understatement. You're. I was. I may have been actually larger back then, and James is no slouch either. <laughs> so we're just this wall of flesh just wandered into this movie theater with no question whatsoever. We just exuded confidence. Like, yes, we belong here. <laughs> it's like just walking into a restaurant and just sitting down at a table. And then bringing you food. Yes. Just sitting down, like, with a little sign, we would be pleased to see you. Just wander in. Do-do-do-do-do. This one will do. Then you look over at the... Uh, the lobster tank. Bring me the brown one. He amuses me. <laughs> yes, the one there on the left. Seize him! <laughs> Seize him! Boil him! The table next to me is a bit annoying. Boil him as well! <laughs> <laughs> you see the sign over the over the lobster tank says, These lobsters were flown in. Because we're in Kansas. Well, yeah, I should so, I mean, think about it. The, the lobster's sitting there, like, flying. He's in first class. He thinks he's won the lobster sweepstakes. Like, wow, this is great. Next thing you know, you're in a tank. Both your hands are tied. Everyone in the place is wearing a bib with your picture on it. (laughs) (laughs) Now that looked like any word from the governor. (laughs) 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 All right. I kind of got off on a tangent there, but it's still pure comedy. I'm sure you're going to like it out there, YouTube. Uh-huh. So, yeah, once again, like, share, favorite, subscribe, tell your friends, uh, watch it again, have it on in the background while you're doing stuff. I don't care. As long as you do, you know, you, you do the, the, the due diligence and like it, like it, thumbs up, hee. <laughs> so, we'll see you next time on The Misadventures. <laughs>